Hi guys, it's Foundations time. We're gonna start with a trick word review. These are review, you've learned all of these words, so we need to read them quickly, okay? So I'm gonna show you the flashcards and you're reading the word that is in yellow, okay? I'm gonna get baby echo, I'm going to point to you, I want you to read it quickly, and then I'll read it so you can check to see if you're correct. First word. The. A. And. Is. Is. Of. As, has, to, into, or, for. Remember, you should be able to read those words quickly. Now we're going to move on to word of the day. Our word of the day is quick. I want to review my circled letters. They have a name. Who can raise their hand and tell me what QU is? Raise your hand so your teacher can call on you so someone can tell me what QU is. Why did I circle it? That's right, they're buddy letters. Why did I underline the CK? Someone else raised their hand and tell you, your class why I underline the CK. That's right, it's a digraph. And before we read this word, who can explain to me how do I know that CK is the right spelling in this word? Who can explain that? Raise your hand. That's right. CK comes after a short vowel, and in this word, I is a short vowel. So let's tap this word out. Ready? Get your fingers up. Qu, I, k, quick. Good job. Now I've got some more words for us to read. We're gonna blend these out. Ready? Whoops. I can't tap it. <laughs> Ed. Shed. Ready? I. Chick. Sh. Ah. Shop. Now we're back to the word quick. I want someone to raise your hand and give a sentence for the word quick. Once someone gives the sentence, go ahead and start this back up. Now I want someone to tell me a synonym for the word quick. Remember, quick is the word I need a synonym for and synonym means same. So something that means the same as quick. Raise your hand and your teacher can call on you. Okay, now who can tell me an antonym for the word quick? If a synonym is the same, an antonym is opposite. So what word is the opposite of quick? Raise your hand and tell your teacher. Great job. The opposite of quick would be to be slow, right? Here's a sentence with our word. Do you run quick? Everybody read that with me. Do you run quick? Now at some point, if you haven't already, you can put quick into your student notebook, but you don't have to do that right now. You can do it whenever it is your teacher tells you. Now we're going to look at our story codfish. We did this last week, right? We scooped it, we read it, we did different things, we talked about the characters, the setting. 
So today what I want you to do is I want everybody to take time and read this story. I want you to give your teacher a thumbs up when you're done so she can start this back up. So right now, everybody is reading every word of this story and then giving your teacher a thumbs up. Okay, now we're gonna read it together. I want you to follow along with my cursor as I read it. Ready? Read it with me. I need to see your mouths moving. Jack had a net to get a codfish for Jed the cat. Jack sat on a rock with his net. Jed sat on a log. Jack had the luck. He was quick with the net. He got the codfish. Jed had a dish of fish. Yum. Awesome job. Now, listen to what we're gonna do now. Do you see how I put this thinking person there and I was thinking? The reason I put that there is because we're going to make a mind movie. That's what we're gonna call it, a mind movie. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna read the sentences again and I want you to think about every sentence and think a picture in your head, okay? So Jack, little boy, right? Jed, a cat, and fish, right there is a picture. So here's my first sentence. Jack had a net to get a codfish for Jed the cat. So everybody put a picture in your head. Somebody raise your hand and tell me what you think in your head. What are you thinking? Your teacher will pause this so you guys can discuss what this mind movie might look like. Here's the next sentence. Jack saw, sat on a rock with his net. Somebody raise your hand and explain what you saw in your head as you read that sentence. Jed sat on a log. What did you think there? Jack had the luck what does that make you think? If you know Jack has a net and he's looking for a codfish for Jed and he has luck, what do you see in your mind? What story do you have going on in your mind that would give you the vision that Jack had the luck? He was quick with the net. Do you see that in your head? Somebody raise your hand and explain what you see. He got the codfish. What do you see for that picture? He got the codfish. And then what do you see for Jed had a dish of fish? What do you see for yum? Okay. You guys can read it again. And if you guys want to talk to your teacher and make some gestures or some um, movements to go with it, you can do that. Whatever you want to do, you can either stop here so you guys can practice reading it some more, making some um, movements or whatever. Whatever works best for you all. Now, once you're done, it's time to take the test. We're taking our unit three test today. Good job today, friends.